Well, two days ago, the Rotterdam was sitting here. She's now in the prep room getting ready to be crated, and her place has been taken by this amazing little model. This is the Soviet liner of Yatoslav Molotov from 1940, renamed Baltica, better known probably by that name in the 1950s. She was the little ship that carried Khrushchev to the United States in 1960 for his famous speech. And as far as I can tell, she survived until 1980. So that's a good long career for a very interesting little vessel. I shouldn't say little, she's 1 100th scale, 53 inches long, 135 centimeters. And unlike a lot of the travel agency displays from the period, and I'm pretty sure she was intended as that, she's full hull, which means I will get to work below the waterline as well as above. Now I've done some preliminary cleaning. I have already removed uh, her damaged fittings. Her railings were very delicate, but they were most of them crushed. Her lifeboat davits, a lot of those were gone. Those that were left were just pieces and parts. And uh, some of her ventilators I have taken off. Also, many parts were just downright not there. And it's clear to me she probably was cannibalized because the fittings that do remain, and there are a few, are pretty firmly attached to the deck. So anything that is gone had to have been physically, forcefully removed. So what I'm doing today at the beginning of this restoration is mapping out the working areas of her decks, making note of any pinhole, any drilled hole, any mark that might indicate where a fitting was. Now, some things are quite obvious. Anchor windlass, fair leads, bits, cargo winches. But there are some other things that I haven't yet identified, and I will get my hands on some more detailed photographs or perhaps some drawings and figure all of that out. One thing I'm doing while I'm sitting here is... I don't know how to describe it, trying to absorb the character of the model and trying to be very cognizant of the level of detail and craftsmanship that the original model makers put into this model because everything I will have to duplicate from scratch with probably no guide will have to be done to the same level of detail and with the same level of craftsmanship. And I determine that by looking at She's got some amazing little functional cable reels up here, and from what I could see from her remaining davits, the craftsmanship was quite good. So let me say at this point there will be no 3D printed parts on this ship. Everything I make will be fabricated using the same materials and methods as the original maker. Now that is honoring the maker. That is a professional restoration. You should never embellish or add to or try to improve what was done. When you do that, it destroys the character of the ship, and the ship has, if she has nothing else, she's got character. So I hope you will stay with me through this one. It's going to be fascinating. And if you haven't seen this yet, this is just one of her seven drawers that pull out from her hull and superstructure and are fully furnished. This was done with every bit of joy that a 1940s Soviet worker <laughs> could muster. And I intend on maintaining that level of joy as I work on her. So stay with me, and I know you'll enjoy this. This is going to be a fascinating restoration, and she is going to really be an attractive model when she's done. So thank you for watching this. Uh, my name is Arid Matthew, by the way if you haven't visited my site before. If you have any questions about this model, please feel free to post them in the comments section below. And uh, until I see you next time, take care.